Joined by head coach Adam Hutchinson of Washington Lee University men's basketball. They were picked in the tie for eighth in this year's preseason poll. Coach, coming into this season, you have one per, uh, perennial all-conference performer for you, JDI, who's now on the bench next to you as your assistant coach. Talk to you a little bit about what you expect from your team this year to replace some of the work he did both offensively and defensively. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's going to be tough to replace him. He was a terrific passer offensively, uh, and he cleaned up a lot of mistakes for us defensively, and, you know, he's a terrific rebounder. Um, you know, you, as a starting point, you want to approach that as a team. You want to tell everybody, let's be a little bit more efficient in every area. Um, once you get on the court, though, it becomes quite evident that that's what we have to do. Um, there's no one that approaches J.D.'s athleticism on our team. So it really does fall on every guy to be 5, 10, 15 percent better. That said, with your team philosophy, you do have a lot of guys back from last year, including last year's Rookie of the Year and Andrew Franz. Talk a little about what you expect out of him in year two and from some of your other guys as well. Uh, I thought Andrew was pretty – he had a, a, consistently, a consistent upward trajectory through the course of last season. Um, he was a better player, you know, week two than he was week one. Um, and so we want to see him continue that this year. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a happy-go-lucky kid, but he is focused on the task at hand. He's a hard worker. He's a good teammate. Um, he's a better player now than he was at the end of last year. So we just want to see him continue that. When we look at the league as a whole, talk a little bit about what you see from the conference. The last four years, 12 bids in the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of teams that, if you look at the preseason poll, good teams that are ranked lower in the poll than they would be in other leagues. What do you see from the league this year? You know, I think you always see good teams ranked lower in the poll. Um, we've played a number of uh, NCAA tournament teams in the last four or five years. And we've actually had a lot of success against them. And the level of playing those games has been lower than teams that finish fifth in the ODAC. Um, so the, the level of playing in the league is quite high. Uh, I think this year that this, it's going to be somewhat unpredictable, maybe not in terms of is the team going to be any good, but who's going to be doing it for the team. So, you know, there are a lot of teams that have to replace a number of guys. Um, you know, you're pretty confident that they will and that they're still going to be really tough teams. But you don't know, well, who's it going to be this year? Um, so that could create some uncertainty, and I think that could make for you know really compelling games throughout the course of the season. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today. Good luck this All season. All right. Thank you.